but it's absolute. Welcome to the No BS Marketing Podcast, where we cut through the noise and give you real actionable strategies for growing your business without the fluff and without breaking the bank. Join us as we break down the marketing tactics that no marketer wants you to know and share tips that actually work. And now, here's your host, marketing expert, entrepreneur, and speaker, Joseph Hacker. Hey everyone, Joseph Hacker here, and welcome to the No BS Marketing Podcast. So, I've got a question for you. Do you have a marketing philosophy, not just a strategy, but a true guiding philosophy that shapes everything you do in your marketing efforts? If your answer is no, don't worry, you're not alone. Most business owners, and even a lot of marketers, get caught up in trends and quick hacks without thinking about the bigger picture. Today, I'm going to dive into why you need a marketing philosophy, how it guides your actions, and the massive impact it can have on your business. Before I go further, let me share a little background. I was fortunate to be mentored by the legendary John Pietro, former head of marketing for Wendy's. John wasn't your typical marketer. He had this uncanny ability to spot what others were missing. And if John were sitting with me right now, he'd be tapping his foot, waiting for me to stop talking and ask one critical question. What's your low hanging fruit? Let me tell you a quick story. Back when John was running marketing at Wendy's, every other fast food chain was laser focused on attracting new customers. But John, He noticed that most customers were walking out without ordering a full meal. Fries and soda sales were struggling. You might even remember the phrase, would you like fries and a soda with that? What everyone saw as a sales issue, John saw as a marketing problem. So what did he do? He didn't overcomplicate things. He grabbed three pieces of paper and scribbled down combo A, combo B, and combo C. Simple, right? But no one else was doing it. Everyone else was too busy following trends or reinventing the wheel. John saw the gap. That overlooked opportunity where Wendy's could upsell their existing customers rather than focus solely on acquiring new ones. And that's exactly what a marketing philosophy allows you to do. See what others can't. It's not about chasing the latest fad or trendy platform. It's about understanding your customer journey and knowing where the opportunities really are. For me, I call it finding the gaps, the little, often simple strategies that most marketers overlook, but can make a huge impact. These gaps have helped generate multi-million dollar revenue streams for the brands I've worked with. And they're right there, waiting for you too. So, where are the gaps in your business? What are the opportunities you're missing while you chase trends or burn money on tactics that don't work? Let's work together to find them. If this resonates with you and you want to dive deeper, visit my website at josephhacker.com and check out my fractional CMO program. Let's get your customers ordering more of what you've got. That's a wrap for today's episode of No BS Marketing. I hope you're walking away with some eye-opening insights into the world of marketing that most won't tell you about. Remember, it's all about cutting through the noise and finding strategies that work for you. If you're ready to take your business to the next level and want to learn more about our fractional CMO program, visit us at josephhacker.com. Let's create something amazing together. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Look, Mom. I made that.